All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this little quick tip tutorial. This one is per the request of someone named Ram R on my Blender Mania Facebook. They asked, how do you make a spring and be able to animate the spring? So, why do this little tutorial for them and also for anyone else out there wondering how to do this. So also, if you're wanting to request a tutorial, head on over to my Facebook, Blender Mania, shoot me a message, post on the wall as well, your artwork would love to have you there. All right, also, before we get jump into this, I wanna let you know about the Ultimate Blender course. If you're wanting to learn Blender and you want it all in one place, click the link down below, check out this course. I put hours and hours of content into this. You're absolutely going to love it. And there's a special code down below with the link which will expire shortly so click it check it out you're gonna love it all right let's get right into this and make our spring and be able to animate it so first thing we're gonna do is delete the default cube unfortunately x and delete the default cube now hit shift a let's go ahead and add a mesh and mesh circle and going to the modifiers tab, let's add a modifier. We're gonna add in a screw modifier because that's what we're gonna be doing. Now the screw modifier basically adds a screw effect to your object. Pretty cool, very, very useful, especially for making a spring or what we're gonna be doing right here. So now hitting tab to go into edit mode, let's grab all these vertices and bring them out to about here. Now we could change the axis over here, but a simpler way is to hit R, X, and 90 and rotate that on the 90 degrees on the X axis so that we have something that looks like a donut. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm making myself hungry now. Although donuts not that nutritious. Let's move on now. The options we're gonna be taking a look at right here is the screw, which will basically increase how high or how much springiness there is to our spring over here. And then the angle, which will basically increase the amount of turns that our spring has. So let's bump this up to a nice high number. Let's bump it up to 1500 so we have it like so. Now it's great, but one thing is that now it's blocky and it's not very smooth. So the way to do that is we're gonna increase the steps amount right here. Now the steps is basically the resolution of the turns or of the angle. And then the render steps is the steps when it's rendered out. So make sure to increase that as well when you render it. All right, cool. Now what we wanna do is basically how do we animate this? Well, one way to animate it, and this is only if you'd like, you could see that right now we don't have any end caps on here. So it's just opened on either end. If you wanna animate it just as it is, you could go ahead and go to the screw value right here and then just hit the I key over your the screw value here and it will insert a keyframe and then move ahead a couple frames and increase this value and then hit the I key once again to insert another keyframe. But again, that's only if you are wanting it to have no end caps, so you could do it that way. To have some end caps on here, very simply, we're gonna do it another way, which also allows for us to be able to animate it with an armature, because that was one of Ram's question. They were wondering if they could animate it using an armature as well. So this way is gonna be allowing for us to fill in the caps and animate it with an armature. How cool is that? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the screw amount to however high you want your, your spring to go. And then hitting Shift D to copy this, right click to leave it in the center. Hit the H key to hide that copied um, spring that we just made. Now selecting this one, let's go ahead and apply the screw modifier and hit Tab to go into edit mode. Let's Alt right click this uh, edge loop right here and hit the F key to fill in that face. Same thing with this one here, F to fill in that face. Cool, now hitting Alt H to unhide our other spring. Let's select it, making sure that circle 001 is selected, and then bring the screw all the way down to how it would be when it's all the way squashed down to the floor. So, never mind. <laughs> 
I was going to make a joke about Jerry Springer, but I don't even like that show, so <laughs> I'm going to keep it in my head. All right, so now with the screw modifier all the way down to where your spring would be when it's all the way squished, go ahead and apply this screw modifier and then hit tab and once again, alt right click and hit the F key to fill in those faces over here. All right, cool. So now what we're gonna do, how do we animate this? Well, very, very simple. We're gonna be using shape keys to be able to animate these values here. So if we go to the data tab, which is this little triangle right here. No, it's not a pyramid scheme or a Bermuda, Bermuda triangle. It's the data tab, guys. All right, and ladies, of course. So here we're gonna add a shape key and the shape key is basically going to Shape keys allow for you to animate objects. Uh, let's say you change an object in edit mode. It basically allows for you to be able to animate that edited object. So what we're going to do is select first the squash spring and then shift right click the, the spring at the top. Click on sh add shape keys on the plus button right here. And then click on the down arrow and we're going to click on join as shapes. Now the basis shape key on this is basically how the shape looks like in its basic original form. So how it would look like when, uh, as it is right now. And then the circle right here, this is a new shape key that's been added. And this value right here, we can now animate this value and it will basically animate the springiness of our spring. So all the way at zero, it's at the basis value and all the way at one, it's now at the value of the other spring that we had down there. Now let's go ahead and delete this second spring that we have here because we don't need it anymore. X and delete. And also once again, a lot of this in much more depth and detail is in the Ultimate Blender course. So click the link down below, check out the Ultimate Blender course because a lot of this I go more in depth in there. Now this is just a quick tip, so hopefully it's helping so far. Now, one thing we can do now is we could go ahead and animate this value much like we did before. So we could go to frame zero, hit the I key, and then go to frame, let's say 20. Bring this up all the way to one and hit the I key once again to insert a keyframe. And now you can see that it's animated. Pretty cool. But an easier way to do this would be to use uh, armatures or a bone in here. So hitting one to go into front view, Let's go ahead and hit shift A, add in an armature single bone. Now going to our spring, let's right click on this value right here. Now it has to be on the value because if you right click on the circle, it won't do anything. Right click on the number, click add driver. So this is gonna be basically a NASCAR driver. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. All right, <laughs> the driver basically is it allows for us to assign an object which will now drive this value. So instead of using the slider, we're now gonna use an object driver which is gonna move this value. And in this case, the driver is gonna be the armature. All right, the way we're gonna do that is hitting the N key or actually the T key to close that. Let's split the viewport, change this one to the graph editor and change it to drivers. Now. Selecting the spring over here, go to your key and select the circle and then hit the N key to bring up the properties. And we're gonna change down here, the object is gonna be armature, the object uh, bone is gonna be bone, and we're gonna change the location to the Z location and also change the scripted expression to average value. So now what this allows for us to do is if we select our bone, hit control tab to go into pose mode, you can see if I hit G and Z, we can now grab this and move it up and down and it will animate our spring. Pretty cool. So now we can animate this with an armature because that was another one of Ram's questions was how to animate a spring with an armature. So yes, you could definitely do it very, very simply that way. So now if I hit the I key, enter a location, and then go to frame 20 or 40, I lied, not frame 20, frame 40, hit G and Z and bring this up to there, and then hit I location. You can now see that we can animate our spring. 
very, very cool. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you make a little spring and how you're able to animate it using an armature. So pretty sweet. Hope that quick little tip helps you out. And with that, take care and check us out, Blender Mania on Facebook. Make sure to subscribe, leave a comment down below, and um, also check out the course. Click the link below as well. Appreciate you guys. And if you have a request or need anything, feel free to hit me up at Blender Mania on Facebook. All right. Ciao for now. Au revoir.